over the last uh, 18 months, uh, uh, the situation has been uh, rather tough, uh, both for the country and the people of South Sudan and also for uh, our colleagues here um, because of uh, the uh, challenges that already existed before COVID-19, but also uh, the additional challenge resulting from COVID-19. I think it's important to come here and uh, express uh, the UN's continuous commitment to South Sudan and its people and uh, to supporting uh, uh, their efforts, but also expressing uh, support and gratitude to our colleagues, uh, our UN colleagues. We believe the importance of the elections is very crucial because it's a democratic, a democratic process that allows the citizens of South Sudan to elect whom they are seen is, uh, is the right person to lead them during uh, the next uh, few years. Uh, we, we have some challenges, mainly all the security arrangement. We need to, to create a conducive environment for the elections. Women uh, are more uh, realistic about issues because um, they are the mothers, they are wives, they are sisters. So they know what is really, what, what is the country, what is the nation. But it's no nation without people. The women knows about this. But some of the men are concerned about their positions. But the women are concerned about the life of people. So, and also in our economy, without women uh, participating in the, in the building of our economy, this economy will be paralyzed. It will be like a bird without one wing. So, like for example, if you see East, uh, West, uh, West Africa, women are there in the market. But in South Sudan, we have not encouraged our women. So women are very important and even our men knows that we are important. Yeah, because of the issue of the PCCA. The PCCA came with the our leadership needs to remember what they told the global economic leadership in Rome, that is, they will never take their country back to war. We understand the challenges, however, they should recommit to dialogue, dialogue to build trust among themselves, dialogue to engage the whole out groups, dialogue to deliver service to the people of South Sudan, not to let the people of South Sudan in misery. Get on and give peace a chance through dialogue. Let's assume that uh, we, uh, we move towards the election, we find some, and I think there's a consensus, there's, I think this was even a resolution uh, adopted. Uh, the more we can put more emphasis on peace building, and, 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 and the better. We need to then uh, continue, and I think this is also our goal. And you cannot build a durable peace uh, if we don't uh, engage uh, the civil society and the communities and the people basically in its diversity and the women and the youth and uh, these representative of uh, uh, the civil society they are our partners they're, they're partners of the UN and they, they help us in you know highlighting uh, uh, concern that are really uh, very high in, uh, in, in, in the mind of so many people here so I think it's uh, extremely important to have this uh, regular dialogue with uh, uh, this uh, partners, really this representative of the civil society.
that is not. I also want to put something clear on the issue of youth. It's not about this conflict, but also the issue of uh, recognizing youth, especially on.